What's up guys and welcome back to Ratchet and Clank 3 Up Your Arsenal. In the last episode we found out that Quark is still alive. Shocker. And we got some new armor and found a new Quark vid comic. So today we're going to be doing the missing, lost, never heard of episode 5 of the Quark vs. Nefarious series. Let's go. This is the true story that Captain Quark hoped you would never see. The unauthorized, uncensored, and utterly unbelievable missing chapter of the Quark comic series. Pure discretion is advised. Just a word of advice, Nefarious. Quit while you're ahead. And so, Quark believed that the threat posed to the galaxy had been ended forever. But he was dead wrong. Bottoms up. Somebody say something. Oh no! What took you so long? I was picking out some new curtains for the torture chamber. They're crushed velvet with a gold lame trim. Oh, I think we really add life to the space. Never mind that now. Grab Quark and let's get out of here. Of course, sir. Oh, Quark. I've never met a man like you. After you, I'll be ruined for other men. That's what they all say. Mm -hmm. <laughs> ah, where am I? You're in my secret prison, awaiting the most ingenious and depraved punishment I can possibly imagine. Come, Lawrence. It's time for my massage. Oh, goody. Using his antenna as a lockpick, Quark eventually managed to open the door to his cell. Almost got it. But his escape did not go unnoticed. Uh oh. Alright then, so we're on our way out. Whoa, this place is filling up quick. That isn't good, but whoa, we get a super weapon here. This is odd, because in the main series, you never really see Quirk with a weapon too much. And it's just, it's interesting when you actually do get to see, gosh darn it, okay. <laughs> Dang it, oh, this is gonna be tough. I already know, it's gonna be a pain in the booty. But if we could try to get every token, that would be pretty beneficial, because at this point, every bolt matters, so. Darn it, I am not, I'm not gonna do well. I have a feeling that this is gonna be really tough, but ooh, ice exploding. That's interesting, a nice little ice level. Hmm, I wonder if the final area is gonna be anything similar to this. What is up here, huh? This is gonna be a 10 token, cool stuff. Um, get me, oh no, <laughs> wasn't fast enough. Um, oh, these are ice platforms that I gotta be careful on. All right, whoa, too much going on, game, too much. Uh, this is like very Crash Bandicoot 2-esque, I like that. It feels like it too, like you can sort of get the vibe from the music. I wonder if them, maybe they had like some cross production or something. That'd be interesting. All right, we're almost there. We're making our way up. We're almost at 40 tokens already, so that's pretty cool. Um, All right, nope, no, I'm about to die though. I don't think I'm gonna be able to survive. Yep, there I go. All right, then it didn't actually put me too far at all, so I'm back up here now. We're at 41 tokens, 42, the meaning of all life and everything around it. Okay, we got 43 and now it's gone. Okay. Um. What is up here then? Oh geez, this is an extra life token. Wait, what about all the stuff we're missing down there though? Oh geez, are we gonna have to do like multiple paths? What is all of this? What, what? How do I do all of this at once? Oh no, hopefully, yeah, okay, at least I keep that health upgrade though, so I'm gonna have to just go back the other way now. Alrighty then, so do that. Okay, good stuff, good stuff, all right. We're making back, back to making progress. So you really have to die and do that twice. Great. <laughs> All right then, here we go, here we go, here we go. Just keep making it. It feels quick though. It feels alarmingly quick, which is sort of the whole point. Um, oh gosh. These aren't pleasant. Like, what are they even? <laughs> okay, um, go down there. Come on, 75. We're actually doing really good with those tokens. Like, we're getting them quick. Uh, I don't see any more, but I gotta keep going and just look around as if they are around every corner because they basically are. This ice is weird. Actually, let me hop on these before I explode them and then, uh, do that one, 92 now, okay. Oh geez, who, okay, get you two, and then climb up here, who, who, <laughs> okay, 94, 95, oh, so close, so close, it's so far, okay. Oh geez, come on, there's just too much, too much going on. Okay, we just need three more, two more, I really wanna get all 100 of them this time. On the last most difficult level, there it is, yeah! Nice, we made our way to the end and got a titanium bolt and all of that good stuff. Episode five, the missing episode is complete. After his narrow escape from the clutches of Dr. Nefarious, 
Quark dropped out of the public eye. Truth is, Quark was holed up in his secret hideout on the Thran asteroid, terrified that Dr. Nefarious would make good on his promise of revenge. When Nefarious didn't resurface, Quark assumed he was gone forever and returned to his career as a high-profile celebrity superhero. But the galaxy had not seen the last of Dr. Nefarious. Ouch! What do you think you're doing, you oaf? Do hold still, sir. This is a very delicate procedure. There, that should do the trick. Go ahead, take her for a spin. What's going on? Where are my arms? Whose butt is this? Oh, my mistake, sir. Dreadfully sorry. Laura! Oh, Lance. Oh, my. We will have to get that fixed. <laughs> One of these days. And they still haven't fixed it. I should have known Quark was full of it. But why would Quark lie to us? Dude, Quark is bogus, bogus, bogus. You can ask him yourself when we see him. According to this vid comic, Quark has a secret hideout in the Thran asteroid belt. I've got a hunch he's there right now. <laughs> He says he wants to come with us. I don't think that... Oh, wait a minute. You speak monkey? Oh, just enough to get by. <laughs> now what? He says you have ears like a Florana dung beaver. That's nice. <laughs> yeah, hilarious. Let's see if he's still laughing when he finds out his pal Quark is working with Nefarious. Major bogus. Surely Quark would never... He teamed up with Drek, didn't he? And I know I don't have to remind you about that protopet business. Who knows what he's capable of? Yeah, I mean, from the first two games, we really don't have a single reason in this world to trust Quark, so... <laughs> it's good that we're on our toes, but for now, we must run off this way and see what else we can do. Also, I noticed that we have a ship upgrader here, but not ever have we used this ship for any type of combat. But we do have it, so I'm guessing that's looming on us and eventually is going to happen, even though I don't want it to. All right, so now we're on planet Iridia, where we're gonna be doing some battle missions. Part one, we have Death Valley, the tunnels of the outpost times 12. Oh, or X-12, I don't even know. Okay. Looks like the Noids are getting ready to attack through those tunnels. Okay, let's help these guys out. I mean, we will get a ton of bolts for this, hopefully, too, which will be pretty darn nice. All right, let's charge up. Oh, wait, 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 why didn't we charge up there? Really weird. Let it rip. There you go. So these guys are robots now. Tyranoid robots, oh no. All right, here come more of them. Can we actually go, like, down there? Like, maybe that's something we should try. Um, It's just going down. Will it let us? I guess it will. Odd stuff. Hmm. Okay, these guys are tough, though. We gotta be super careful, because you can just start tearing me up like that, and that's not pleasant. <laughs> All right, go down here really quick. Wow, there's a ton of stuff down here. Hmm, fancy. All right, let's use the suck cannon really quick. Uh, suck these guys up, because they are not pleasant. So we might as well make the most out of them here. All right, ooh, 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 ooh. Okay, and that one. <laughs> cool, cool, cool. And then what is, wow, this, this is a lot of stuff. I figured we could just wait for them to come, but I don't know. Um, This seems to be working out better for us anyways, so can't complain too much. Let's use this. Wait, no, not that, this. <laughs> The Annihilator might be a good bit more useful with all of this stuff going on. Here, come on. Why can't you just shoot the darn gun, Ratchet? Hi, you guys up here shooting at me. How are you? All right, that's everything in this room. Got this very pleasant uh, ship shooting at me, and I'm too far away to actually hit it. Come on. Oh, it's the actual plane thing again. All right, then. There's that done. Are we going to be going on the plane now, I'm guessing? Uh, enter ship. All right. All right, then. So it looks like, whoa, oh. So we sort of jumped the gun there. Part two, ambush in Red Rock Valley. So now we're actually using this. Okay, cool. All right, then. You don't have to die. I mean, you could flee if that's something you want to do. But for now, we just got to take care of all this. Ooh, yep, mow these guys down. Good, good, good. And then over here, so this isn't too bad. Until we start running into fellow airships, that's when this sort of gets difficult. But in the meantime, this isn't bad at all. We already have 100,000 bolts again, so that's pretty nice. Um, ooh, take care of all this. Just whatever we can to get ourselves some extra bolts is really what I want right now. Um, hmm. Where are these other guys? They're over here now. And of course, we still get XP for taking guys out, even if we're up here in the ship, which is pretty darn nice because it's just sort of easy health. 
Even though it says we have 100 health, I think that's because we're in the ship right now. Because I think we're still in the 70s when it comes to our actual health in the game, like Ratchet's health and everything. Because the armor doesn't boost your health in this game. I think it just makes it, you know, the damage you take a little less, so. Hmm. Let's go over here, take care of these guys. This is actually a nice little crate square right here, so might as well take care of some of those. And then, uh, come on, come on, come on. Yep, okay. Now let's actually go and get those, or it's not very useful. All right, now we gotta go over here and help these guys out. <laughs> We're too busy getting the cash, man. Too busy getting the cash. Um, yep, come on, come on, good, good. Um, hmm. Where is everybody else? They're over here. Now we do have some airborne targets. These ones aren't too bad. Like, the other airships is what I'm worried about because they were really hard the last time we did this and I'm assuming they're gonna be just as hard this time. Even though I do feel like I'm playing the game better. The game has stuffed up difficulty, so I'm still dying a lot. But I feel like I'm, like, the game itself, I'm starting to play it a little better. You know, after three games, I'm so, sort of starting to get it a bit. All right, come on and get that. And then this guy, yep, like I said, a little annoying to hit. Hmm. All right, ooh, there you go. When I'm so high up, though, I, I gotta sort of lead my shots a bit, so might as well get down low. All right, let's keep an eye on our mini-map. The mini-map works way better in this game than it has in all of the other games. <laughs> like, like, seriously, it was so hard to see where the enemies were in Ratchet 2, especially in the flying missions. Like, they might as well not have had a mini-map with how difficult it was to see, because it tried to, like, put the 3D you know, aspect of it on a 2D plane, and it just, it was really weird. You gotta go watch it to understand what I mean, but, um, hmm. Let's get these guys, come on. Come on. And get you. Ooh, there you go. There we go, oh, and we did it, cool, 15,000 bolts for us. All right, so part three is assassination. All right, let's go for it, oh, wow. Whoa, there's a lot of enemies on this mini-map right now. So we gotta shoot this ourselves. Last time we used this, the monkey did the work for us. Not so much this time. Um, oddly enough, this isn't very easy because it can't really shoot up. So we're just gonna have to, I think we should do some of this ourselves with our weapons because we'll get some upgrades for it. If we can get the Annihilator to V5, I don't mind doing this a bit manually. Um, let's see, I can't actually reach those guys though, for whatever reason. Come on, you, you, you're the one I wanna take out. Come on, you can do it, game. You can do it. Um, and we used a lot of our ammo just right there. So let's get more Annihilator ammo. Cool. And then what is up here? We got more enemies over yonder. Who? Boom. <laughs> Took him out. Take him out too. Come on. Oh, just keep hitting him. Just keep hitting him. <laughs> Cycle through their shots. Um, what do we, so we, we don't, here. And then suck these guys up. <laughs> that's all I want from that. And then that's about it for here. We can hop back into our, it's gone. <laughs> Where did it go? No one knows. Um, hmm. Doesn't look like there's too much to collect here. I'm just gonna do what we can with the Annihilator. Uh, ooh. And you, wait, ooh. Okay, I got him even though my reticle wasn't on him. Oh boy, oh boy indeed. So we just gotta keep going until we get everything, I'm guessing taken out. Like, if we just take out all the enemies, that's probably gonna be the big goal with all of this. All right, we took a few out there. We're slowly inching our way through V4. That's pretty good. All right, get you, and then you big guy. You're getting on my, you're annoying me. You're getting on my bad side. You don't want to be on Rats' bad side. Okay, uh, is there anything down here? Not really, okay. Hmm, we can uh, grab boots up this, and then we'll use the uh, shot cannon for it, um, if there's anybody up here. There is, you got this big guy. Not pleasant, boom. Luckily I can take him out with a good old charge shot and get something with him too. Okay, whoa, a lot of enemies, a lot of enemies indeed. Uh, okay, uh, boom, there you go. Then you, eh. <laughs> She's going on again against something. Oh, geez, more about that thing. Okay, uh, hmm. Let's go down here, take care of this unsuspecting dude. And this guy doesn't even care, he's just like, okay, whatever, you just killed my best friend. I'm fine with it. Sick and tyrannoids are just ruthless, they don't even care when you kill their brother. Alrighty then. Um. Let's go over here, because I did see these crates, and it'll give me some health. I'm almost back at full, there we go. So we are making our way to 80 out there. We do have 77. It would be cool if we could reach 100 before the end of the game, but I don't know at this point, like, it feels like we're at the end of the game, but at the same time, I don't know. It's like weird. Because, you know, um, we're at like, what, episode 21 right now. So that's not too far off what Ratchet 2 was. For me, Ratchet 2, it took 27 episodes, I think, to, to beat, so it wouldn't be too far off if we are close to the end. But at the same time, I'm not really sure. I feel like this game might end up being longer. But I don't know, hmm. 
Uh, let's see if we can't take this guy out. There you go, we took him out. <laughs> All right, get him, good, good. This weapon is just so darn strong, I love it. And then you, like, I can take those big guys out in one hit, and it's just so easy. So very easy. Now this dude, he doesn't even know. He doesn't even know, he's just showing, he's like, man, this is a wonderful Tuesday. Oh gosh, the pain. <laughs> okay, let's go back up here, and then, uh, Take you out, and then take, or, or not, take you out, and there's all my Annihilator ammo, all used up. Luckily, there does seem to be this here. And then where else are we going here? It looks like we can make our way up this little mountain to find, looks like there's a lot of guys there. Let's see if we can uh, pull up our Vux rifle here, and see if we can get a few snipes before we continue on. Like, I can shoot you a few times. Oh, they noticed me now, I think, or, or not, Never mind. They're looking around for me, it looks like, but they just don't know where I am. All right, well that's good for me because now I can just take him off and there's our V3 done, all the way up to V4 now. This weapon, just like in Ratchet 2, this one levels up super fast. All right, boom, and then you hook it, he's like, huh, what happened? All right, um, that's everybody I see from over here, so we're gonna fly down like this. Where are this last group of enemies? It looks like they're up here, they're just not in view distance. Um, Boom, and then Boom, and then last one, last one, don't run, don't run. Oh, you ran! Why are you running, buddy? What do you have to fear? Oh yeah, me, ha <laughs> Okay, is there anything up here? Or is this just like a useless mountain? I guess we could have jumped this with the quad, which will be cool, but I don't even know where it went. It like, just sort of despawned. I could have used it, but hey, I mean, if the game doesn't want me to have it, I won't use it. <laughs> he doesn't even know I'm here. Ah, got him anyways. Then you, boom, wait, 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 come on, come on. There you go. We're like super stealthy right now, and I don't even know why. Hmm, all right, let's sneak up here. And then, now this isn't making as much progress, like from the V4 to the V5, definitely not as fast. Come on, let's just take him out, come on. Oh, what? Oh, that's lame. All right, I'm in tired of y'all now, boom. Okay, no Annihilator, oh no, we do have a few Annihilator now. Okay then, boom, Who? haha, <laughs> okay. More shot cannon, a lot of stuff there. And we got it done, nice, 20,000 balls, I'll take it. All right, so the last thing we need to do is part four, reclaim the valley, I think this is the last part. I'm gonna guess it is. All right then, let's activate these, oh geez. This is not gonna be easy. Um, Let's first off, who's shooting where? You got those guys shooting over there. I'm gonna take out you, I'm gonna take out you, and then I'm gonna take out the turrets whenever I can. Um. Just anything that's unpleasant, I wanna get out of my way as early as possible. Like, these guys get all prepared, but they don't quite shoot at me yet. So if I can take them out now, ooh, these guys are easy now. They were a pain in the booty the last time we had to deal with them, but now they're easy, haha, <laughs> okay. All right, let's um, unwind this then. It'd be cool if I could have an ammo refiller, but we don't have that here. So these turrets might help, but it's luckily, you know, it's much easier when we can take them out and do these. Um, when there aren't tons of enemies attacking us. Maybe we should stick around here and guard this turret. You know, in case the Noids try anything sneaky, you can handle the rest yourself. All right, I'll do it, I'll do it, don't worry. Just have to do everything around here, but that's cool. Um, there you go. <laughs> I was like, uh-oh. Might have not have been able to pull it out in time, but I did, I did. Slam on this, get some of our ammo back here. You know, I just, I want to constantly use the, you know, the sniper so that hopefully my chances are better of getting more ammo back for it. Hmm, and there's nothing up here. Um, all right then, let's go, well, did I see people? I did, okay. Um, boom, wait, there you go. He's just gonna try to shoot at me here. Too low, <laughs> too slow. All right, um, and June. You're my next target of choice. So that's all the ammo for that. Luckily, I do have this, so. Pretty easy stuff so far. Like, our weapons are so powerful at this point that things are starting to become a little bit more tame here towards the end of the game. I'm guessing that'll change sooner or later. But I don't know, for now, it's a bit of a mystery. Hmm, get you, get you. Okay, I forgot about those, <laughs> I didn't even see them. Oh geez, uh, because now I can maybe get them here. There we go, there you go, okay, cool. <laughs> Luckily enough, it wasn't too much of a hassle. I did lose about 20 health, which is quite a number when you think about it, but hey, I'll be okay, as long as I just try my best to survive and not get hit 80 times like I just did. That was very unnecessary of me. <laughs> All right, get this, and then I hear more. I hear one dude going, roar, and he's right here. Bam. <laughs> all right, let's do this one. Not bad at all. But we still have plenty more guys to take out, which is the hard part here. All right, Ooh, and that'll be doing its thing. We can uh, charge off this way. 
and then boom. Ha ha! And there isn't too much over there. So we're slowly but surely gotta take care of everybody. Go, Sarge. You don't need any help, do you? Oh, sorry. <laughs> Break it up. Jeez, just, just be honest and tell me you're not interested in helping. I won't mind, really. I'm nicer than you think. All right, um, let's take care of this guy, hopefully before he shoots us. Oh, nope, nope, here he comes. Oh, nope, I tried to jump, game. I pressed the jump button. I can't press any more buttons than that. All right, then. So we're taking out some of these guys. I got a little more progress done here. Take care of him, take care of him. Come on, come on, come on. Yeah, good job, good job. All right, now we gotta get up there and take care of those guys. Luckily, I don't actually have any health down right now. What I do have a lot down is my ammo. I have next to no ammo. I don't have any more uh, of the, the sniper rifle or anything else. And I've noticed that at this point, the shotgun it doesn't do too much, even with this charge shot. It takes quite a few shots to the point where it's rather inconvenient. So I'm not gonna use it for right now. It's definitely one of the best early game items, but besides that, at this point in the game, it's sort of drifting off, which I hate to see. Even this is drifting off of it, but it's fire rate is what keeps it sort of useful. Alrighty then, um, go through here, we keep charging, and then it looks like this will be like our last cluster of guys to take out, I think. So it'll be interesting because, I, like I said, don't have much ammo. Actually, I don't even know if I need to take these guys out, because this is the last turret I need to do, is right here. So let's go and try it. And let's twist this on through. I think this is the last one. Let's see, maybe the mission will just end. I don't have to deal with those guys and it'll give me my bolt prize. Cool, okay then. Oh, excuse me. I was being nice to you guys and there's still another one. Okay, X12, end game, let's go for it. <laughs> this is probably an extra long episode, but we're going for it, okay? Me and you guys, sticking together. Let's take these guys out, all right. Luckily, they're, oh, they're running away. So now we're the winners here. They're trying to get out of here. That's okay, we'll take him out still. I mean, for robots, they're pretty sentient with how they act. So you know what, maybe that should be embarrassing of them that they're running away like that. All right. Ooh. So I wonder if these guys, are these guys are little pals here, are they robots? Or are they just in suits? Because they seem to be robots of you. I mean, they really do look like it, so. Cover, the noise are coming over the bridge. I'm not too worried about it. Look at them. They're dead. Look at them, dead, dead, dead. All right, come on. There you go. And then, ooh, this this big thing, three shots. Three shots, not even. It looked like it was a little less there. Um, Flux rifle here. So the flux rifle, oh wow. I, oh wait, wait, no, okay. I'm getting it mixed up with the uh, fort, or the flux cannon. All right, yep, wait. Oh, why am I getting it so mixed up? All I wanted to do is suck these guys up really quick. And we got, oh, we got an upgrade there. Okay, we're at 80 health now. Um, Let's try to do what we can with the uh, this, because it's almost there. If we could just maybe take this out, like I'm sure that would give it a good upgrade. Come on, come on. This has a lot of health though. There it goes. Is that the V5? Not quite yet. Um, well then we're not gonna be able to get it with this. We need to do Annihilator. Um, and see what its health is if we can. It won't actually show us its health. I'm pressing L2, R2, nothing's happening. Oh well. But there we go, that one was actually the easiest one. It seems like the last ones are always the easiest. Hey, Sarge, over here! What the? Pretty cool, huh? It's called a warp pad. Great for running away. Yeah, I got an extra one. Wow. What? That's crazy. Okay, then. So we got some really awesome stuff there. Um, It won't let me exit out of here. There's no way to get out of here. But either way, in the next episode, we'll go to Quirk's Hideout. Thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a like, share with your friends and family, and of course, comment in the comment section below. If you watch this point in the video, make sure you comment Warp Zebra so I know you're watching the end of the video and that you're a Zebra-tastic viewer. But either way, thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you next time. Bye-bye.